have for sale here today is a Death Miller AP-1000B paver. We're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine, the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and we'll run it in the third. Price on a new machine these days is uh, about $350,000. Uh, that's without the, uh, this machine is equipped with a top, uh, Topcon uh, brake control system. This machine has got 556 hours on it, but uh, we'll, we'll get the, uh, a more accurate hour meter. Uh, the hour meter was changed out, so we'll get a more accurate hour meter later on. We're not saying that's the hours on it, but that's what it shows. Uh, as far as manufacturing, uh, Caterpillar is number one in the world of heavy construction, mining, utility, and paving. Um, the weight of this machine is 36,000 pounds. The widest point is 11 foot. The highest point is the top of that be beacon at 11 foot two. And the transportation link from the end of this uh, um, from the end of this paver all the way to the front of the hopper is 24 and a half feet. Comparable machines are like a Vogel uh, Super 1800 or a Rogue Tech uh, RP190. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like all the machines that we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine with no rust. We're far enough south and 300 miles from the ocean, so the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen tables. Of course, a lot of times uh, salt really isn't an issue with a paver, but uh, we're not near an ocean either, so there's no rust on this machine at all. It comes from a well-organized contractor here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that had a comprehensive maintenance program that uh, rivals the best that I've ever seen. We, as well as our customers, have been happy with all the machines that we purchased from these guys, and it should be said that before I buy any machine, my mechanics thoroughly inspected, and then I inspect it before I write a check. As far as options go, this machine has got a Topcon 4 Plus brake control system. See it there? It's got two sonars. It's got a loop system right up there. We'll go ahead and get into the uh, mechanics of it. Um, the paving, the standard paving width for this machine is eight foot. The maximum paving width for this machine is a Paving speed for this machine is 374 feet, which is pretty fast. I mean, we just uh, sold a, a, an AP650, and I think the maximum uh, paving width was like 20 feet, and it was 200 feet per minute, and this one's 374 feet per minute. The auger diameters uh, right in there is those are 16 foot augers. Hopper capacity of this machine is uh, eight yards. So you've got controls that are conveniently located, you know two sets of controls that are conveniently located on the tailgate here. The augers and the conveyors are uh, independent of each other so you know you've got dual operator stations 
and swing outs for greater visibility, you know, so you can adjust for multiple positions and whatnot. And it's uh, got a material, you know, the, in other words, the, uh, the, the material handling system is independent so you can get better flow for your product. You know, another uh, thing that we've got here is we've got, uh, we've got three sets of screed plates and we'll show those in a video here in a little bit. Um, I guess we gotta get upstairs for me. Um, this engine is a six cylinder Caterpillar uh, 3116. It's got a 70 gallon fuel tank, which will give you uh, 12 to 16 hours of uh, operation depending on your application. Okay, so this machine is mechanically sound. There's absolutely no leaks on it anywhere. Everything on it works. It propels and steers just as it should. All of the conveyors work. The Topcon grade control system works. As far as the tires go, you can see these are solid rubber up front here. And these in the back are pneumatic. They're like 95%. They're in pretty good shape. Like I said, the hydraulics are strong on this machine. There's no cracks or welds anywhere on the work equipment. All of the pins and the bushings and everything with regard to this uh, business end or the paving end of this uh, paper is in good shape. There's uh, no deflection or any kind of problem in the, in the paving end. Um, we're going to go ahead and run it in the next clip.
Okay, so these are the three sections of screed plate. 